Hey everyone, Shaber1000 here. Today we're going to talk about uh, this FM transmitter that uh, I had a suggestion on that video about running off the boat battery or I could get one of these. So, it was Brian, I told Brian, I said, well, that's a great idea too. And I got to thinking, I have one of these, but if I remember right, I had a cooler plugged into this, or I, I plugged it into a cooler, it worked all right for like a day, and I unplugged it, and then when I plugged it back in, something popped in here. And then, if I remember right, it quit working. Now, if it's what I think it is, um, it's it's probably a voltage regulator, but we're going to plug this in, check the output, it should be 12 volts. Um, so, if it's not, it's probably a voltage regulator, but we're going to crack this open. I ran, I ran a razor knife down the sides of it on this crack here, and it seems like it's going to come apart pretty easy because there's no screws. This is a Coleman, so um, we're going to... We're going to see if we can fix this. If not, I have another fix that we can do um, and for the same cooler I was talking about. The end of it is uh, broke off. So let's check this out first. If it, if it needs a voltage regulator, I'm not going to have one and I'm probably not going to buy one for this. Um, so I got Monkey's little thing out here so we can look at it and see what we can see. So. Anyway, thanks Brian. Let's see if we can get this fixed. I doubt it. But if not, we're gonna to try to fix the cooler. Stick around, I'll get you pointed down here and we'll get into it. Okay, I'm probably going to have to change the lighting because I've got this light over here and there's a lot of shadowing. But here's here's the device. Uh, like I said, it's a Coleman. It's uh, center pin is positive. Um, for indoor use only, blah, blah, blah. It is a... Uh, Input 120 volts, 60 hertz at 1.2 amps. Output is 12 volt at 5 amps. So what we're going to do, and this does, it, it powers on. There's a light. There's a little light down here on the bottom that will power on. So I'm going to, this was her dad, so I don't know how long it's been used, if ever it's been used. Um, I might have had it for his boat or camper or something. So what we're going to do is we're going to plug this in. I'll show you, you know, that it does have power. If I can get it plugged in, there we go. All right. Now, let me get you down here so you can see we do have power. The little red lights on okay so we do have power but do we have enough power I doubt it now earlier I was checking it out with this and when I would plug this in um, it would turn blue for a second and then go off I don't know if it'll do it again or not but when I would do I, I cleaned this up in here with a piece of sandpaper now it's not doing it Man, this light, let me turn this light off, guys. It's really, I know it's not the greatest now, but I mean, uh, I got it as high as it'll go, high up as it'll go, but okay. Um, anyway, I can try, let me, let me get my light for this camera and put on top. Okay guys, so sorry, we're going to have to deal with that big light. Sorry about the shadows. Um, but anyway, cause the, my other light, the battery's dead. 
So, yeah, it's not. Earlier when I plugged it in, it would flash blue and then off. So, what we're going to do first, let's check out. I didn't check the output, but it, like I said, it was getting something. It would kick it on blue and then off. So, I'm going to. Got my. It's an auto meter. It does all kinds of neat stuff. Uh, if you guys are into cars and stuff, uh, you know, I got a two cylinder, three cylinder, four cylinder, five cylinder, six cylinder, and eight cylinder. I can do the tack and dwell, I can do RPMs, I can do all kinds of stuff with it. But right now we're just going for voltage. Uh, center pin is positive. I did clean this up with a piece of sandpaper though. Looks like 1.3 volts. So, yeah, my guess is that this thing is gonna, is gonna have an issue with the uh, voltage regulator. There's a little tiny chip in here. That's a voltage regulator. Now I'm just going to go down this side here. Come on, focus. It's a little crack right along here. All the way around. I'll speed you up. All right, so we're in. So I'm just trying to see if I can see anything because I know, I remember this thing made a pop and I'm not seeing. That comes out. I'm not seeing anything right off the bat. It looks like it's blown, the capacitors look good. how this comes out because I need to look at the bottom yeah. what I'm trying to find is maybe a little fuse in here and I'm not sure that might be the voltage regulator there I'm not sure I've never had one of these apart, so I don't know. I know I'm getting power into it, so I don't need to check them. But I need to find out where they go. If, if I remember right, I, I think I did hear a pop. So what I'm going to do, I'll shut you guys off. I'm going to look through this magnifying glass here. And I'm going to see if I can find anything that looks strange. And if I do, I'll be back with you guys. And I'll let you know if I found something but yeah something's not right I'm, I'm, I'm betting it's in here there is numbers on that thing but in order to I gotta get this I 
out of here in order to check this out. First, you know what, let's just go ahead. I mean, it don't work now, right? So it's not like we can break it. I don't know if that's supposed to be hooved up like that. I gotta be careful because there's a number on here that I'm gonna try to look up here in a minute. See what that is. But right now I'm just checking to see if I can find anything blown. That light's really irritating me. It's all right for just straight on shots of filming or something, but for something like this, it's not. Uh-oh. Whatever that is, I just screwed it up. <laughs> we'll just put that back. MTR... Z. All right, let me get my phone and look this up. Okay, guys, what I came up with is uh, I went on to a couple sites, and everybody's having trouble with this on these these things here. Uh, nine times out of ten, this is what goes bad. I was hoping it'd just be a capacitor or something. I do have a couple of these laying around. I don't have any of these. Um, you you can still get these, but I mean. With shipping and everything, it would be more than this whole unit. So what I'm thinking, like I said, it's broke, right? Why can't we take this uh, input 120 volts, AC, 60 hertz, 24 watts, the output is 12 volt DC, 500 milliamp. So let's check this and see if this is any good. Had it plugged in, but I wanted to show it to you. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see this or not. Put it on volts. Let's see, the white one I believe is power, negative should be the all black one can't get shocked it's DC I just don't want because this thing is so sensitive if I hold it with my fingers it might not read right but I may have to I know that's not right I know it's not 60 volts, that's for sure. Here, let's just hold it on here. I know it's not 65 volts. There's no way that's 72 volts. It's impossible. It don't have the components in it to make it that much. There's no way. Maybe my meter's not working right. Could be a battery. I haven't put a battery in it in a long time. There's no way that's 93 volts. All right, let me see what's going on. There's no way that's 93 volts. Hi, right, here we go. I don't know if you guys can see that. I can hold it on here. is reading 12 volts okay so I think what we should do now I know which one's positive and which one's negative so let's hope we don't blow this thing up let me turn this light off here I 
a positive one here, negative one here. I think it should light up. And it's not. Let me see if I got another one of these. It's not lighting up, see that? So let me see if I got another one of these <clears throat> that's 12 volts. I think I do somewhere. I just gotta look for it. Okay guys, I found this one. It is output 12 volt 500 milliamps. This should work because this came out of one of those um, jumper boxes. So I know you're not gonna be able to see this real well, but I'm gonna plug it in. Set this on the volts. And how much do we have here? It says 19.9 volts. Get this thing set right. Okay, so let's try something here. I'll turn you over this way. Might blow something up, but let's see here. Let's see if this will light up. I'm trying to get it where you guys can see it. And it works. Searching for Bluetooth. Okay. All right. Well, so now what we're going to do is this thing doesn't work. I did check it off camera and uh, out of here, down inside there, where these wires come from. I did check it off camera. And one time I checked it, it read 6.3 volts. Another time it read 11.6 volts and then 7 point something. So this is bad. Like I said, I'm not going to replace that part. So what we're going to do is we're just going to cut this off. I'm going to shorten this up a little bit. About right there. Because we're using these kind of bigger wires here. And we'll solder these together. Because that is for this. So. I could use a. Uh, a uh, charger for a laptop but I really don't like cutting them up if I don't have to so in case you know we have several laptops so these are awful small wires here really small wires going into bigger wires so that shouldn't it shouldn't mess with me too much. Um, whoa, now I gotta go find that. Or monkey will step on and go, what the hell is this? And I gotta find that. All right, so now if I remember right, these have lines on them. One will have lines on them and one will have numbers on them. Okay, see that? And this one has I don't know if you can see that. Lighting sucks. There it is. See the lines? This one has numbers. I believe the one with lines is uh is the uh positive. So let's check to make sure. Uh 
go on to continuity. Should beep. It's on. Okay, so if I go onto the one with lines and put it in the center pin down in here, it should beep. did once there it is so the one with lines is the positive one which will go on here and I checked this one too off camera did I no I checked that other one off camera but the other one the one with the white stripe on it was um, positive so my guess is so is this one so what I got to do now is get my soldering stuff out here and uh, we'll solder this up I'll bring you out a little bit got some of this stuff let me get this plugged in so many times I can burn myself on it I need a new tip for that thing I need one of those uh soldering stations man things are like a hundred bucks but I would use it a lot okay so what I'm going to do is we're going to find some of these so I want to find one that's going to fit over top of both of these okay that should work move it down here then I'm going to find one for each size of this Put on here and that looks like it hopefully that will be long enough to cover it throwing these things everywhere aren't I? Oh that'd be nice if I could get that all the way up on there. I don't think it'll work if I once I get the solder on it. Might be a little too big but we'll see. Alright, so we'll, we'll do one at a time. This is positive. And what I like to do is open these up. You know. So I don't know why I twisted these together. just stick them in there together like that and then twist them together and then I'll solder them up first if it'll tend look at that that's bad and it gets like this it's my fault because I don't have a sponge you should have a sponge and it keeps that from happening so I have another one in there but it's not where I thought it was it won't take much to get down in there and get the little wire okay so there's 
that one. Scoot this up here. I don't like doing this, but my lighter's not very cooperative. I shoved that down too far, and I did. There we go. Alright. I need to see if we... Well, let's go ahead and we'll... We'll solder this one too. That one went in there pretty nice. Alright. That did well. Now let's slide this over here. You know what, let me get my torch. I, I decided against the torch, we're in the house. So, I'm just gonna use matches. There we go, yeah, that'll be all right. It's not quite all the way down there on that bottom one, but. It's fairly close. Pull this up here. I don't know how well that'll work either, but let's try it. I know it'll be fine on this end, but... I can always put some tape around it. Tape just looks tacky, but it works fine. Alright. Now, let's let this cool down. And we'll plug it in. We'll plug this in. Let me shut this off. I don't want to get a false reading, you know, go, wow, that's too hot. You know what I mean? Go, ooh, that's really hot. <laughs> Shouldn't be. All right, let me unplug the curling iron, <laughs> whatever. Let me unplug the soldering iron there. And uh, I set my soldering down, iron down on a lighter one time. And it said, poof, no big deal. So I got some matches, did the same damn thing, except I had the matches, you know, sent by the box or by the iron, and I walked away just for a minute, and I heard, psh, psh, lit that whole box of matches on fire. That was, uh, my dad was there. He thought that was pretty funny. I, I didn't think it was very funny. Yeah, this is cool enough now. I'll know. All right, nothing blew up yet. Now let's. Okay, so we're getting nothing. I wonder why. It was working earlier. Maybe the wires are too big. All right, let's check and see what we got here voltage-wise. Okay, well, I think I got the wires mixed up. I do. I gotta do that again, off camera this time. All right, here we go again. I'm gonna roll it back, and I wanna know which one of you guys saw me do that and didn't stop me. All right. There it is. Here we go. Hey, all right. Just looking for Bluetooth. I think I found my phone. But anyway, there it is. So, that's what I'll use instead of that battery. Just this little deal right here. Now, there's nothing out of here that I can use other than them capacitors, but I've, I've got some of those and I'm gonna get more since I get the extra money. There's I've got a an old Windows. I think it's a 98 in there. I don't. It's Monkeys, and she's got the original keyboard, the original mouse, 
Uh, she's got the original, I think her parents bought it for back when that was updated. <laughs> you know, I mean, it was in date, whatever. <laughs> um, but uh, she's got the original monitor. That's awesome. So yeah, what I'm, what I want to do is rebuild that. It's got a whole bunch of blown capacitors. Sometimes you can get it to kick on, but you know, it's really slow, of course, but uh, it's just, it would just be neat, you know, that she bought that new, that's from what, the 90s, I think? I'd have to look at it, but she got a brand new, so that's pretty cool. I don't think I'm gonna do the other project tonight. It's already 1250. <laughs> And I'm running low on a battery here. I have another battery. I've got three good working batteries, but I can only find two. I don't know what happened to the other one. But anyway, so yeah, that should be, that should work. I don't have a radio in here, or we would try it, but. Still on 89.3. All right, let me, I don't think I've got a radio. Let me see. Okay, guys, it's on 89.3. See, it's looking for Bluetooth, but I'm going to put a card in here. There, it's reading. So, let's go out to the car. And, um, I don't know how what's well going to pick up being that this is in the house. But... Let's find out. They should be playing Jolly Old St. Nicholas. Alright. Alright, hang on a second, guys. She may have something. Alright. Nine. What was that? 98.3. Or 89.3, I think. Okay, it is picking it up. in the house and change you know what let's bring it out here and plug it in right there how's that let's do that okay let's plug this in oh I heard it there it is All right, so that's going to work. Thanks, Brian. Brian gave me that idea. All right. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Okay guys, well, that's better, I had to take my hat off, it's hot in there, and if I turn the air on, you guys can't hear me, <laughs> you guys can't hear me, so, there, that's better. Alright guys, so again, thanks Brian for, that was a great idea, and you inspired me, so it'll be a lot easier just to plug that thing in and hooking it up to the battery. Um, I knew I had something. I knew I could come up with something. So I got enough electrical stuff around. So thanks again, Brian. I appreciate that. His channel will be linked down below. And 
with that being said guys tomorrow night i got a cooler we're going to try to fix it i think all that's wrong with it is the end but i don't know it sat out back and got a bunch of water in it so it might not work we'll just have to see all right guys thanks for watching shea bear the myth the man alleged i'm gone for now and uh we'll see you guys in the next one hopefully y'all have a good thanksgiving it's coming up so something over in them woods <laughs> we'll see you in the next one bye bye guys and take care